James Blake and Marty Fish were two of the headline acts during a prosperous time for American tennis. The pair were fierce rivals, meeting five times on the ATP World Tour, and teammates, winning twice as a doubles partnership. With the tennis world focused stateside right now, we caught up with the US legends, now playing on the ATP Champions Tour, as they reflected on some great moments and plenty more. James, we have played five times. What match did you play your best? Probably the New Haven final uh, in front of my home crowd, so I was very excited and had the J block there, and so I uh, got a little energized. That was my best win since I only, I only beat you twice, so that was... Uh, oh, that was that my worst the... match I played against yeah. you. So what was your best match? You beat me three times. Um, I actually never really played that well against you. Um, you faked an ankle injury against me. And always, uh, always. Uh, no, probably the US Open. That was a good one. Um, that was a good one. What, outside of that match when you beat me, what is your best match ever that you played on tour? Roger Federer 2008 semis Indian Wells. He's done it. Fish defeats Federer in straight sets. What was your favorite hotel on tour? My favorite hotel was the Crown Towers in Melbourne, Australia. What, what Mine was yours? As well. yours? Mine as well. Such Crown. good food. We modeled our bathroom in our house after the bathroom in the Crown. That was the first place I saw the shades that closed with the remote control, yeah. and I put those in, in my house because of that. No, I didn't <laughs> have that much money. So <laughs> what is your favorite restaurant all time on the road? Favorite restaurant, restaurant of all time, probably Annapurna in Ooh, Paris. Ooh, good, uh, good call. I love Indian food, I like spicy food, good and that call. one is fantastic. How about, what is yours? how about Mr. Chow in London? Mr. Chow in London is great. We've had a lot of, many a nights there. We've had a few nights there. Who would you invite to dinner if you could invite three people to dinner, living or dead, right now? Wow. Three people just to dinner? Just to dinner. That's a good question. That's a thinker. Nelson Mandela. That's a good one. Uh, your brother T-Bone. <laughs> I think they would get along really well. Yeah, they would get along great. <laughs> just for and uh, and how about maybe someone that John Mayer will just he'll just sing on on, on the you know. He can be the background music. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be he, he's not afraid to go to dinner and just sing out loud. <laughs> Who is the best doubles player you've ever played with? <laughs> From the states <laughs> that you're friends with, <laughs> that would have to be Marty Fish, the, the best, the best doubles player I've played with, um, and I assume yours. Would Mine's be uh, Andy Robb. Okay. <laughs> okay, another one. Who is your celebrity crush? Uh, I'm a huge fan of Rachel McAdams. Good choice. She's in a movie. I'll watch it. Mm -hmm. I might have a couple, actually. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I just asked for one. You don't need to do extra credit. Yeah, no, I'll just go with her. <laughs> Mine would have to be Eva Mendez. Big fan of hers. Yeah. My wife's aware of this. Yeah. James, thanks for joining me. Marty, thanks for joining me. No, no, thank you. <laughs> Good. We nailed it. <laughs> Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, the Masters magic continues in Miami. And we speak to Roberto Bautista Agut on the strength of Spanish tennis. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and talk with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, powered by Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.